So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, a special condition in a counterflow with exchanger. At first, let's talk about what a counterflow with exchanger is. So in a, a counterfluid exchanger, we have two fluids. Uh, here, the upper one is the hot fluid and the lower one is the cold fluid. The hot fluid is moving from left to right and the cold fluid is moving from right to left. And uh, the delta T1, which is the temperature difference in the left hand side, it is the temperature difference between the inlet of the cold of the hot fluid and the outlet of the cold fluid. Similarly, delta T2 is the difference temperature difference between the outlet of the hot fluid and the inlet of the cold fluid. Now the special condition here is what happens to this logarithmic mean temperature when delta T1 is equal to delta T2, which is possible when the heat capacity rate of the cold fluid and the heat capacity rate of the hot fluid are equal. When the heat capacity rate of the cold and the hot fluid are equal, and when there is heat exchange between the hot fluid and the cold fluid, the amount by which the temperature is decreased of the hot fluid is going to be equal to the temperature by is going to be equal to the amount by which the temperature of the cold fluid is increased. And because of this, this condition delta T1 equals delta T2 is valid. Now let's see what happens to this uh, logarithmic mean temperature when delta T1 is equal to delta T2. Now if I substitute this delta T1 equals delta T2 over here, the numerator is going to be equal to 0 and the denominator is going to be equal to ln of 1 which is obviously 0. So we will get 0 by 0 which is called as the indeterminate form. Now we have a special rule to deal with this kind of problems which is called as the L'Hopital's rule. So what L'Hopital's rule tells us is that if we have an indeterminate form of 0 by 0 or infinity by infinity, all we need to do is differentiate the numerator and the differentiate the denominator and then take the limit. So this limit is going to be equal to the limit if we take the derivative of the numerator and of the denominator. Now saying that delta T1 is equal to delta T2 is the is, is same as saying that limit delta T1 tends to delta T2. So I have written this this case this case as a limit. Now I have uh, moved this delta t2 to the left side. So I have a delta t1 minus delta t2 tends to zero. And similarly, in this denominator part, I have added and subtracted a minus delta t2. I have done this because later on, while dealing with this problem, we will have to, to differentiate uh, with respect to delta t1 minus delta t2. So for ease, I have here added and subtracted by my by delta t2. So here I have just simplified it by separating this um, this part. Now if I plug in this delta t1 minus delta 2 tends to 0, then what I'll get is I'll get 0 by 0, which is an indeterminate form. So now I'm going to apply L'Hopital's rule in here. So when I apply L'Hopital's rule, I'm going to take the derivative of this upper part, which is going to be equal to 1, and derivative of this lower part. Now the derivative of of ln of something, of ln of, uh, of a function, is going to be equal to 1 by that function times the derivative of the function. So the derivative of ln of this is going to be equal to 1 by this part times the derivative of this part. So the derivative of uh, only this part is going to be 1 by delta t2. Now, now down here I have just uh, done some simple algebraic uh, simplifications uh, and I have uh, substituted this uh, delta t1 minus delta t2 tends to 0 and finally what I end up with is uh, that the logarithmic mean temperature difference is going to be equal to delta t2 and which is and which is going to be equal to delta t1 because it was our special condition right so what this says is that uh, when the delta t1 and delta t2 are equal the logarithmic mean temperature difference is going to be equal to delta t1 or delta t2 thank you so much